In 1848, John Roebling purchased 25 acres of land in what is now Trenton, New Jersey for his wire rope business. Designing the buildings and machines, he directed the company until his death in 1869. By World War I, the factory was the largest wire rope plant in the world. Shuttered in the 1970s, join me as I venture inside to see what remains. John A. Roebling, the designer of the Brooklyn Bridge, founded his steel wire manufacturing company on the site in 1849. The location on the western side of Chambersburg, now a neighborhood of Trenton, was chosen for its location alongside the Delaware and Raritan Canal. The location also had easy access to rail and port connections of the growing city. Under Roebling's sons, the business grew with the Trenton complex ultimately becoming Trenton's largest and most famous employer. The steel wire manufactured in Block 3 was used for many famous bridges and projects, from the North Sea Main Barrage in World War I to the Golden Gate Bridge during the Great Depression. The Roebling Works made the greatest contribution to Trenton's reputation as an industrial center, memorialized in the motto, Trenton Makes and the World Takes, on the Lower Trenton Bridge. The portion of the Roebling complex immediately to the south of Block 3 has been rehabilitated into offices, a market, and a museum. Block 3 is adjacent to the Hamilton Avenue station of the Riverline Light Rail Line. It is also quite close to the Trenton Transit Center on the Northeast Corridor, the Cure Insurance Arena, a 10,500 seat arena home to concerts, sporting events is across the street. The Trenton Ferry Historic District lies to the west. Nearby landmarks include the Italian People's Bakery and New Jersey State Prison. Many of the buildings in Block 3 are currently in disuse and have experienced significant decay. The block has been subject to many redevelopment efforts and some redevelopment of the site has been completed as lofts, offices, and commercial space, a plaza for events. Funds have been raised to convert the building 101 to the wire rope lofts. It is expected that the renovation of the rest of the complex, including construction of new buildings and a parking garage, will follow. Only time will tell. Until next time, explorers, stay safe.